So, um, in my spiritual awakening, uh, I realized that I had to get around better people. And one of the um, things I also realized is that I had to limit um, my my interaction with my family of origin and that was not and that is not pretty hard to do because they pretty much left me um here in the state that i live by myself um mostly everybody moved down south and i'm pretty much the only one um who lives in the area where i live in and you know, I see other people where like their brothers or sisters or their moms or aunties or grandmoms, whoever, are helping out um, to raise uh, the children and family or just to do stuff in general. And I'll tell you, that has not been my experience. Uh, one of the things though, that happened was that um, my sister had uh, came up uh, for when I had my divorce party. And, you know, I, we have been talking and, like, you know, kind of re-kindling um, our relationship. And I was really excited about um, her coming. And until so she came. And it was kind of like, um, pretty much, she shitted on me the entire time. Like, um, your house is so dirty. Um, and what she was talking about my house looked like a lived in home um like i'm a single mother i have two children um i go to work i come home uh i'm not touching stuff when i get home when i come home i relax you know i'm not I, fuck that second shift bullshit right so you know sometimes uh uh dishes get left in the sink um, sometimes the sweeping and the mopping will have to wait until Saturday. Um, most of the time, uh, I make sure the trash is taken out. And, um, if you want to know, okay, do, um, my children help? Yes, but they have special needs and it's like, it doesn't register, uh, with them on their own to, do stuff so it's kind of like you have to tell them to do it and then you have to tell them to do it correctly and after a while with all the half-assedness sometimes it's just easier to do it myself um so no grace no mercy for the issues i'm going through try to explain try to over explain i'm done with that shit right i'm done with it and that's why i need to be around people a better caliber of people because I've had friends that's like, oh, you know, you um, you need help. I'll help you out. Um, and I really appreciate that. And it's, I would do the same for um for my friends. To be honest with you, I need to get to a point where I can um can um afford a cleaning service because uh, I, I'm I'm kind of getting serious on the um that shit where. I go to work, I go home, I, I don't lift a finger. I need a cleaning service and I need a, a cooking service. Um, I, I can't get with that second shift nonsense. I just, no. Um, I, I didn't have a man that um, made it so that I could stay home and take care of the house. I, so I just basically do the best I can um, with what I have. So one of the things that happened was my sister um, basically said to me, uh, Oh, uh, I gotta be honest with you with how dirty this house is, how dirty you are. You know, you might as well settle for friends with benefits because no man's gonna go for this. And you know what? You got that pretty, um, that pretty skin. You know, why don't you just go get yourself an ugly man? You, an ugly man might, you know, might be best for you. And <laughs> let me say this, right? I married a man who, um, not ugly but I was not attracted to and I gotta tell you to get cheated on repeatedly 
by a man that you were not initially attracted to, that shit hurts like hell. And that shit is demoralizing and humiliating because it's like you didn't want him in the first place. Um, you give him a chance, he gets you, and then he treats you like shit and he disrespects you. And one of the things I, I, I decided is that I don't date men I don't find attractive. I don't personally find attractive. And I'm not saying that me finding a man personally attractive uh, means that they're gorgeous or fine or anything like that. It's just that they have to have something about them that I am attracted to. Sometimes it's their looks. Sometimes it's their talents. Sometimes it's their brilliance. Um, it just has to be something that I find attractive about them. Um, it, it's not necessarily a physical trait, but I personally have to find him attractive. So, you know, if I see a man and I see that he's like um, wearing sandals with socks, sorry, I don't find that attractive. I'm not, I'm not dealing with that, right? I'm not dealing with that. I'm not trying to change nobody. You know, that might just be his thing. And there is somebody out there for that man who is into that and you know, I think uh, this woman, again, back to we give each other terrible dating advice. Why would you advise another woman to settle for friends with benefits and to settle for someone that uh, they don't find attractive? Like, you know, that doesn't make any sense, right? Um, she didn't say, oh, I'll come move up here and help you out. And we help, like, we we all live together. We help each other out. No. And I don't expect that. But, you know, I'm just not doing that. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not going for that. I was with a man that I, I initially, like, did not pay any attention to because I did not find him attractive. I did not like, um, the way he dressed, um, I did not like his corny jokes. Um, I did not like his corny friends. Um, I did not like how he was a mama's boy. The type of mama's boy, I should say. He was like, um, I, I did not like um, how, um, as the years go on, I did not like how he let himself go as far as maintaining his hygiene because once he got to the point in a relationship where we got comfortable um his hygiene was just not up to par but he was still expecting sex and, and affection ex expected to be kissed on and hugged on and like you hadn't even taken a bath yet today he's still like expecting on me to give him head but he ain't taking a bath yet today i did not like that right and the thing was, those were, th you know, he was, like, initially trying to impress me. So, but, you know, so, you know, he was showered um, and everything. But I gotta tell you, tell you, he showered and stuff for our first couple of dates. But I did not like the cologne that he used. I did not think it went well with his chemistry. And it's like, we got into the relationship and eventually the marriage. And it's like, I'm like... I had to be like, yo, dude, this cologne doesn't go with your body chemistry. This doesn't make you smell good. You need to, like, use some sandalwood as a base for your fragrance. That, that's good on you, right? You know, some men like that musk um, fragrance. And it doesn't go well with everybody's body chemistry. And, um, like, you know, he did better with sandalwood. But it's like, you know, I'm giving somebody that I initially did not find attractive a chance then they let their hygiene not be up to par and then they start all the cheating and kept on cheating and probably i mean i can't prove it but probably cheated throughout um the entire uh relationship so any um body says to you hey you know date an ugly man or date somebody date this person that person i remember one time i was in um uh, in um, grad school and i was in class and they're like oh why don't you um try to go on a date with that guy i'm like that guy doesn't even have an ear and i wasn't trying to be funny the guy literally his ear was cut off i said as as beautiful as i am right why would i at 25 years old settle for someone who doesn't have like all the body body parts intact like and i'm not saying that to be mean 
or anything. But even if he did have his both his ears, I still didn't find the man attractive. Like nothing about his personality, nothing about his um, energy, his spirit, nothing about his looks, nothing about what he's dressed. I found attractive. So, and I'm like, why would I even put that man through that if I don't find him attractive? So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments on um, what you think. You can like and subscribe, or you can dislike. I don't care. Um, just let me know. I just want to know the feedback. Y'all have a good day.